Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's Michaela. Matthew's not here. He's busy finishing up work and getting ready for a Bible study today. So I'm going to be working on our basement. So first, let me explain. The plan is to paint the outside of the basement black because you can see that it's it's sort of black, but that's like where the water barrier is. So we're gonna paint the entire basement, outside basement portion black. We've got black shutters, we've got a black roof, so it'll tie in really nicely. About a week ago, Tuesday, Matthew cleared, weed whacked the entire outside around our house and our walkway. It took him a long time. Over the last week, it rained every single evening and I couldn't get much of anything done. But I can show you the progress. First, I will show you the clip of Matthew showing you what it looked like before he weed whacked and cleared that. I will then show you walking around to show you what we're gonna do and what I've done so far and how it looks after Matthew had weed whacked. Okay, so we're getting ready to work on the landscaping on this house. As you can see, it's kind of gotten away from us. It hadn't been great since we moved here. We are gonna work on this today. We're also prepping for a porch. We're getting ready to get a porch put in right there in a frame stoop. And then this rickety rascal on the back, let me show you this. Look at this sucker. The integrity this thing has. Post down there. Not even touching the ground. So we're getting ready to tear this off. We're gonna have our boy Clark come out here and redo this, add some value to this house and class it up a little more. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. All right, so now that you've seen what Matthew started with, you can see already that it's huge progress so we don't have all these weeds up tall and in the way. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'll, sh I'll explain this first and then I'll show you the rest of the foundation. So we've got loose pieces and I'm going to be, that was a huge chunk, I've never seen one that big yet. But I'm gonna be scraping away all the loose stuff so I don't paint over it and then it comes right off. That would be completely pointless. But I'm gonna go around the entire basement and scrape off, lightly scrape the paint to loosen up the loose stuff. And I've already done that to this wall. So all the loose stuff is off and even some of the grass and stuff that was on there from getting the landscaping done. All right, so you can see here, this is the side, around the front, our little stoop. And uh, this was pretty bad because we actually had a temporary barrier around here because the geese you can see this black line here. They're chewing at the insulation around the cooling lines. This is a mini split unit. We've got five units in the house because this house did not have any central heating or air. It had baseboard heat and window units. So we got a mini split system, but we're going to work on getting those covered after we paint. But we cleared all this up. This is overgrown. There's our grill. Scraped out our lower patio here that was overgrown and muddy. So clear that up. This was ridiculously overgrown up to underneath the patio or this uh, porch. We're actually going to get this replaced. I mean, if you can already tell, that's a huge no no. That's bad. That's not how that's supposed to be. He cleared all of the overgrowth around here. We had a few young birds that weren't ready to join the, the adults yet. We've got three range chickens out here. Most of the animals, the little ones. But yeah, so we got that all cleared. And I'm gonna set the camera up to do a time lapse of me scraping the wall. So you can see the transformation of us working on our house. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Alright, 
so I'm gonna stop there. All I did was scrape this front part, lower part, and the patio. You saw that in the time lapse. I don't want to end up working on this side and in the sun and get sunburned. I got sunburned like a week, a week and a half ago. It's no fun. All right, I'm gonna come sit down. Okay, it doesn't seem like a whole lot of work, but I haven't been doing that kind of stuff in a long time. I'm on the verge of getting blisters on my hand and I prefer not to get blisters if I'm gonna continue doing this each day, hopefully each day. So I had mentioned that Matthew about a week ago had weed whacked all around the house. That week ago was last Tuesday. It is now Monday, July 7th, 7th. It's July 11th. We had rain every evening since he had started weed whacking. I scraped that one side I had showed you earlier, that first side I had scraped that Wednesday last week. But I haven't been able to touch any other part of the house because as soon as I would get off work, it would start raining. So that's as far as we've been able to go. We, a project we were hoping to get done in the last week was put off because the weather said, mm, nah. All right, so I will catch up with you guys in the next clip. All right, it's the next day. I'm gonna start scraping the side of the wall. Okay. Let's get into these beehives. When we get my smoker started, I just want to take a quick peek. Thought I'd bring you along. Not gonna be anything crazy or super educational. I just want to see if I need to add a second layer to them. Let's get the smoker started. Let's go check them out. My bee setup's a little crude, so all the pro beekeepers, no judgment, I guess. Little weedy, baby. Little weedy. Anyway, I just wanna get in here, take a quick look. Got one hive that's doing really well, and one hive I had to add a new queen to, and two layers of fresh brood, for those of y'all who don't know what that is, that's two layers of eggs out of a healthy hive to kinda of give the colony a boost. Anyway, you'll be able to see the difference. First, we're gonna dive into this really healthy hive and see if they need another layer added on so they can make more honey. All right, so this, this tall one right here, this is the healthy one. This is the one the queen's cranking out a ton of babies. It's filling up real quick with brood and they're stocking away a lot of honey. And this second one over here that the smoker's on, I had a really weak queen, so those bees were not reproducing the way they should. I had to give them a new queen. I, I was scared they were gonna swarm or the hive was just gonna get weak and infected with a parasite. When a hive gets weak, it makes them prone to parasites like wax moths and stuff like that. Stuff that wants to come in and eat all the larvae and eat the honey and it just spoils everything, wrecks the hives. Went ahead and purchased a new queen. It's been a month since I last checked on it. Last I checked, the queen was out and was just starting to lay eggs. A little behind on following up on these guys. give you all a little look inside the hive. This hive looks great, by the way. Listen to that humming. That is one of the most therapeutic sounds that God has given us on this earth. I love this sound. It will be it. ASMR. Down here, this first layer right here. 
is mainly where they store up eggs. So that's the main area where they're reproducing. There will be some honey, but that's what they need for the winter time. This top layer is almost 100% honey. But again, they need this second layer right here to get through the winter time. But check this out, guys. So here's what the frames look like when I first put them in. Just plain old beeswax, nothing on it, nothing special. Let's see. You can see right there, they've started to build it out. Look at that. Starting to build it out. And the further in you go, the more work you can see. They kind of work from the inside out. Check this guy. It's kind of hard to do one-handed. It's starting to get heavy. We're starting to get honey. You see that glisten? Starting to get honey, full combs. And then I'm going to go in here to the middle. Check this out. One's heavy. Look at that. Starting to cap it over, seal it up. And as soon as they cap it, it's uh, shelf stable. All right, guys, watch out. It's shelf stable after that. Incredible. It's incredible what they're doing. I'm going to give these guys maybe one more week, maybe two. I got to keep an eye on them because if they run out of space, they'll split off. They'll swarm. And that's not what I want. So another two weeks, I'm gonna put a screen on here. That's called a queen excluder. That'll keep the queen from going above this second level. And then I'll add an, a third layer on top. Third layer right on top. And then that layer makes it so that just the queen can't get through and all of the other bees can get through. So they'll start storing honey up top and that's what we'll harvest. Anyway, pretty cool stuff. This hive looks great. Uh, I knew it would. So let me put this one back together. I'm gonna put y'all back over there and then we'll dive into the weaker one, see what we got, all right? So this one, I'm seeing some encouraging stuff in here and some stuff that's a little discouraging. Let me just show you. And again, just listen to that hum. Nice sound. So one thing that's encouraging is there are eggs in here. I am seeing some fresh eggs, some fresh comb built out, and a lot of bees, which tells me the queen's doing her job. All those brown caps. So we saw caps in the other one. The clear caps are honey, these brown caps are eggs. So it looks like she's doing her job, looks like she's doing a decent job. See all the eggs down there? It's got a little larva. So that's a plus. The negative is this stuff. I'm gonna have to switch this out and go to dad's and see if he'll give me something. This is called Plasticell. So on the other hive, this comb was transparent that's because it was made out of beeswax. This is made out of plastic. And uh, the bees really seem to hate it. So I've got one, two, almost four frames that are not built out yet. Eh, more like three, I, guess, I don't know. No, it's four. So they really seem to hate this plastic cell. Here's one that they're building off of, but they're very reluctant. Notice how slow they are taking their time on building off this plastic cell. And again, they just started to get their numbers back up, so it's still a weaker hive. But look at the little baby bees. Little, little babies. <laughs> so adorable. Anyway, again, I, I, I think it'll make it. I think it's gonna be a weaker one getting through the winter. I'm probably gonna have to throw sugar water to them in the fall just to give them a surplus of food to store up for the winter time so we'll see give me a couple weeks we'll tap into these again next time i'll probably drag old papa dave out here and we'll take a look at him together he's been doing it a little longer than i have looks like the hive took to the queens and the queen's definitely doing her job this plastic cell stuff have not had any luck with so i don't know maybe i'll throw something down in the comments on what y'all do i know some people put beeswax on it and that helps and some people just hate them and avoid them altogether. all right guys well i'm gonna cap this back up we'll see you next time yeah <laughs>